sixth English medium. Today we are going to start chapter two in biology. New uh, components of food. Now, in chapter one, we learn about some, like we make the list of some food items and ingredients. And uh, we also identify that uh, in the different part of the India, we get different type of foods in a different region. Like in some of the region, we get chapati, dal, curry, etc. Sometimes there is rice, sambar, etc. Now, it means that in the different region, according to the available things, they make different type of dishes. We make a vegetable of lady's finger. In some region, they make like appam, fish curry, and different vegetables, etc. So here, we say that the food, what is food actually? We can see that food is the edible substance. Edible means that we can eat. Food are the edible substances which we eat. Why? To obtain energy, material required for growth and development of the body and also to repair worn out tissues. This is called food. So we take food for all these purposes, we need energy to do the different type of work. We have to grow. So for the growth, there must be some special type of food items are required for the development of the body, for the repair the worn out pieces because every day lots of tissues are getting damaged. So it need to be repaired. So now, here, we know that our food generally have at least one item made up of some kind of grains. Grains means like wheat or rice, juar, bajra, makai, etc. So, we need some of them as a food items. It uh, depends on the availability in the different regions. In some regions, wheat is the main crop. So those people can take as a grain wheat. Some others take bajra. In some area, they use maize, means makai. So it depends on the region at which different type of uh, are available. And uh, also, we eat some dal or dish of meat and vegetables. It means that we take uh, not only one type of food. We take the, as I told you, grains, some dal, roti, rice, etc. It may also include like items like uh, curd, buttermilk, pickles, etc, 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 chutney, papad, etc. So, we take different type of foods and different regions also. Sometimes we may not really have all these variety in our meals. Means sometimes we are not eating everything. Sometimes we eat only rice and dal or sabji, roti, etc. So, but uh, we need to eat uh, generally the different types of food. Look at the table 2.1 in your book. Here also you can see it. So, in that some of food items and the what are the vegetables or others they are that you like in Punjab. Punjab, the item of grain is makai. Maize, 
and roti. So they make roti from makai, makai roti. And item of dal is like rajma, kidney beans. They call it rajma. So rajma and maize roti, makai roti are the main ingredient, main food items in the Punjab. Also, their special vegetables is also their sarso ka saag or makkai di roti em keva enakona matre. So, that sarso is the main vegetables available in them and curd and ghee is also the main part of their diet. Similarly, if you go to the Andhra Pradesh, there most of them are using rice. Lots of rice is used. Tuar dal and rasam there is a special uh, item of that dal is called rasam and in vegetables they eat uh, kunduru or dondkai that is a special type of vegetables available in their part and also they eat buttermilk ghee pickles and so on it means that uh, different regions are using different types of grains different types of dal means pulses, different type of vegetables and other different items also. So now, why do we eat different type of foods? Why don't we eat same type of food? Because that we will learn now now. That why do or what do different food items contain? So now, daily whatever we eat, is called the diet. The amount of food taken by an individual at a time is called diet of that individual. It means that when we eat like in the afternoon time we take our lunch. That time what do we eat? The roti, sabji, means vegetables, rice, dal and sometimes papar, papri or pickles etc. That is called the diet means the amount of food taken by any individual at a time either for the lunch we can count as a dinner also in dinner also we take different types of materials as a food so that is called the diet and nutrients nutrients mean the main components of the food like carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and minerals which are the main components of food which are known as the nutrients. They are called the nutrients. And what is nutrition? Nutrition means taking this nutrients which provide us energy, help in the growth, in the repair of the food, I mean repair of the body, etc. So that process of taking food which help in giving energy and the growth etc. That process is known as the nutrition. Now, we are talking about now that we take a different type of food. Means we have to take grains, we have to take vegetables, we have to take curd and buttermilk etc. Why do we need different types of food? Because different types of food are giving us different types of components, different types of nutrient therefore we have to eat then if a diet which provides adequate amount of all nutrients all nutrients means this one all which one carbohydrate proteins fats vitamins and minerals along with some roughage and water roughage is required for the uh, easy digestion of the food because they are very very important. So all these five plus roughage and water we must get in the adequate amount not less than it, not more than it. Then that type of diet is known as balanced diet and we must eat a balanced diet because if we don't eat balanced diet then in the next uh, standards, higher standards you will learn about it that some disease are also caused if you don't eat a balanced diet. Means some of these nutrients are less in our body. We can get some different types of uh, diseases. So we must know that which type of food items 
giving you which type of a nutrients so in an we know that the nutrients now right now the carbohydrates starch energy fats energy means the ability to do work which we get from the carbohydrates and starch and fats so now what are the carbohydrates the food which provides us energy to work is called carbohydrate so the carbohydrates most of the grains and sugar they are giving us energy means they are carbohydrates they are giving the carbohydrates so the food which provides us energy to work they are called carbohydrates and starch is also the major source of carbohydrate you get starch from the potatoes and some other uh, vegetables also so they are the sources of energy now what is energy energy means ability to do work ability to do work is called energy now the other is the fats 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 are give, fats are also sources of energy but they are the rich sources of energy means they provide more energy than the carbohydrates but that energy should be in the proper amount if you get more fat also it is uh, harmful for your body so fat items giving more energy but uh, it is not so much to take in our body otherwise it can have the worse effect on our body also so the fats are obtained from the ghee oil etc also then the proteins proteins means the food items that needed for growth and repair of the body are called proteins and proteins are getting from the milk egg pulses etc how do we know that which items are getting giving us carbohydrates energy fats so generally we have to understand that uh, the carbohydrates carbohydrates are generally found from the most of the grains like wheat your uh, uh, rice jowar bajra millet millet means bajra same and the maize etc and they are the carbohydrates which are the main source of energy so most of the energy requirement we have to take from the carbohydrate doesn't matter the fats are giving you more energy and therefore we have to eat that the uh, carbohydrates also now the fats fats are rich sources of energy oil butter ghee etc and that we know that we don't have to take in much amount because they can be harmful but little amount of it is also required in our daily diet and then the carbohydrates etc now starch as we talked about the starch the starch how can we uh, detect the presence of starch for starch the testing of starch we use the solution of iodine iodine solution is used uh, how when we take the iodine solution and put it on the like a rice or our roti then what will happen that will turn either blue or black why because the iodine has a color change with the starch when the starch is present in it the iodine will change the color from uh, yellow is or golden to uh, blue or black so we can taste the starch by taking that blue black color when we put the items so if you put uh, like in the roti or on the puri etc that made from the that thing uh, starch they are carbohydrate also but it is a different type of car- carbohydrate so mainly the starch so if you put uh, on the potatoes on the wheat items like puri roti etc in that when the drop of iodine is put in it then they will give blue black color so that can be the presence of starch there taste of protein also there if 
we take a food item and if you want to taste is a solid you first need to make a paste or powder then what you have to do put some of this in a clean test tube and shake the test tube then using dropper you have to add two drops of copper sulfate solution and 10 drops caustic soda then you have to shake well and if you see that it turns violet then it contains proteins so first if it is in the solid form you have to crush it and make a paste then you have to take 10 drops of solution of caustic soda and 2 drops of copper sulfate in that food items and then shake it well right then if you see that the contains is turning violet that means it contains proteins similarly for the fats fats are oily substance so what you have to do you have to take it item on the paper and rub it on the paper and if it will give the oily substance on the paper then you can say that the fats or the oils are also in that so we learn about the carbohydrates you learn about the fats and the proteins in the next video we will learn more about some vitamins and minerals so here we are going to stop this video but you have to follow after this video the pdf file you will get pdf file along with this video and then that pdf file you have to write down in your fair notebook and if any problem any confusion write down in the comment section thank you very much